Bayonet's Kirk J singing his way into the top 10 on the voice. Yeah, NBC 15's Corey Pippen was with Kirk's hometown fan club tonight when the exciting announcement was made. He is through to the next round, huh, Corey? That's right, Greg Kim. Before Kirk J was becoming a star on The Voice, he was making a name for himself here at Baldwin County High School. Family and friends at a watch party tonight tell me they're thrilled for his success, but they are not surprised. This is how it looks when a beloved Baldwin County performer makes it big on The Voice. Kirk J's loved ones and supporters gathered at Teresa's Barbecue in Bay Manette, not far from where he grew up, celebrating with cheers as he survived elimination, advancing into the top 10. A special moment for his proud parents, Kimberly and Robert Franklin. I so overwhelmed and just happy for him that he's going for his dreams. I think he's awesome. He loves music and he's a good child. You never no problem. And while everyone here had faith in Jay, they were on the edge of their seats for nearly 30 minutes as several contestants were told they were safe before him. His success doesn't surprise Chelsea Mitchum, a former classmate at Baldwin County High School. I just remember him being the, the goofy classmate who was friends with everybody and especially incredibly musically talented at the talent shows and all that. To see him so nationally, you know, known, it's amazing. Jay's loved ones have joined dozens for watch parties every week he's taken the stage. And his mom has yet to be disappointed. As long as he keep God first and um, stay humble, mm -hmm. that's all I ask. Now Kirk Jay will try to keep this going. He'll take the stage again when The Voice returns next Monday. Reporting live in Baymanette, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.